Hi guys, uh, it's Aegis here. So here we go, uh, round four of uh, AM part of uh, Hong Kong Overture SSP events. So we do have one more match before we get into uh, the end of the AM part, which you will likely be seeing that very soon. And now we have a Nirvana versus Bastion, and we do see uh, the Nirvana player actually using the egg. I think it's because of the prefer to have one extra card in so uh, compared to players like me who use uh, Trickster as the starter so that we can guarantee we do have uh, access to multiple Trickster earlier and okay the Kader side get to call a Bastion not a bad call but uh, you do lose a chance to press and arrive so one attack hits and here comes the over trigger. Uh, sadly, if he actually decided to attack with Vanguard first, uh, he can get a trick drive. But it is what it is. And now for uh, the final side, they actually do have an easier game because they don't need to afraid of uh, over trigger coming up. And here comes the trickster put in front which means he's going to overdress and going to ox draw two this card is actually a uh, very very important card for this deck because uh, being able to draw two even to say uh, one turn plus five is big and uh, the final player actually decided to go rushing because he even just put a uh, farina there for 10k and still hit so trying to drop some shield value trying to push early with damage so uh, after that he can be uh, having a more easier turn because what uh, the final deck do is things quite stable you just play units you just pump them up and you just swing every single turn so here comes the bastion draw extra card and a great crazy in hand right now and he do have to counter blast for Elden and so blast to kind of great to draw two. So once you get into this stage, uh Kaders actually do have uh, a more stable and more threatening turns because from now on all the Green Priests can simply be played uh, but we don't see the dragon so we don't see the boost happening and let's see what he thinks. At this stage, I mean, uh, he should still try to push more damage. He put in a Elden attack and then uh, Vanguard attack. King drive, crit, so put his opponent to fourth. And a great free, so take two damage, no heal. And this got a great free, resetting Elden, uh, which can reach uh, a. 35k, 35k, so that's actually quite big. At least can force like, some shields. And here it is, order and everything is shield. And for Salo hitting Ox, trying to steal a 10 gauge shield or just directly take it out. Since we don't have 10 k shield uh, in the era, so yeah. That is actually a good play. And being able to push his opponent to fourth, uh, that's quite big because now every single finger attack will need to be uh, carefully taken because any crit can just basically take them out. So the final in play, get a Varina. And as long as you're willing to discard a card, you can get yourself a trick to the back and start overdress. And, but actually he do have one in hand because we do see him drive check it last turn so going into another Farina uh, from here again for the Farina side it's just basically every turn play some overdress units uh, pump with your uh, Farina, uh, Nirvana and just keep swinging so Bastion side do get a uh, defensive so the uh, Varina that without overdress states can't hit. And here comes the board wipe. 
which is something I think uh, playing the Foreigner you need to be very careful when you do have a good timing to kill some units with threats you should do it he comes the person right uh, but yeah he do okay he do have another Elden let's see which bravery he's going to call okay it's a solid one draw two uh, I don't think I see the dragon yet So put that in and Elden get plus 10k and another Fosado. Again, still no dragon. The dragon is actually quite important right here even though he do have a personal right but extra 15k boost can really change the game. But he don't have it so okay, uh, it's now on 5. So best and player just need to go all the vanguard and at least force all the shield to be gone so a pg is gone i think we saw at least two vgs gone right here uh no heal but he can actually uh withstand so he gives the power to Vosado. Okay, so he used the uh, briefly that he just checked to draw himself a card, which hopefully can get him some good cards. This is a 35k, so still requires quite a bit of hand to guard, uh, probably some intercepts. Let's see what's going on. Okay, that's. Three cards gone. And the foreigner's side, I think he only have like. Okay, so I think that's a uh, over trigger gone as well. So he comes a person right draw. Uh, he only have three cards in hand. So and he don't seems to be playing any unit on the field because some players, even though. They got triggers in hand, they will still call one trigger out to not waste the 10k boost from a uh, personal ride. But seems uh, this player is not going to do so. But he do have a hard time right here because he's on 5, his opponent is on 4, and yeah, he did not call extra unit. He's trying to swing 33, uh, still doing some shield, and he got a PG, a crit here. Putting the uh, Fire to 40k, they crit so uh, Bastion side have no choice but to guard it because if they not guard it, they are going to go to 6 damage. And in this tournament states, you probably don't want to do that, you don't want to gamble. Yep, so you drop uh, 3 cards to guard, which is quite a lot. And he do not have personal right, so even though his opponent is on uh, 5 and about 5 cards in it, that's still not going to be a big threat. So guarded, and only 15k with an over trigger, things are going smooth, only if you think it, 15k shield for 2 pass, check into two grave freeze. Uh, and of course he has no choice to drop a great tree to trying to finish off his opponent. Now he decided to go 35 and drop the another PG. I think that's at least the third PG. And that's the only thing that he can do. Okay, kill the intercept. And we see the one of the cards is a uh, the foreigner, so another person arrived. The card draw actually saved him. Because now he can call a trickster and overdress into Ox to draw his extra two cards. And this time I think he will try to uh, push as much as he can to call whatever units out. There we go. So the Hana used the final kind of last and got PG'd again. And here comes a heal. 
that's actually quite big because that gives uh, the final side a room to for it uh, to take damage and here comes a crit again so Kader side players still need to guard uh, this arc attack which I think to uh, the final player is actually quite lucky he can get a uh, crit every single turn and forcing his opponent to basically need to keep guarding Okay, so here comes the uh, cater side to do something again, and I don't think he's still he still can't find a bastion. So it's still kind of weak here, even though he's always got three guards in hand, but uh, they do have one damage space to take. Here comes the fifteen. Again, you probably want to. Uh, Protect yourself right here. And he got a fifty shield for two pass. Bravery and PG. So of course you do have a choice. Drop a bravery. Now here's the struggling point. Are you going to use Posado to attack first? Which can basically be intercepted by Ox. Or you're going to swing for a bigger number with Elden. But at the same time, uh, one step is hit, and the final side, if they got a defensive, then you can finish that off. So, yeah. You can let me know in the comments below what you want to do. And he decided to use a higher attack one to take, and that's the fourth PG. And of course you don't have a choice, you should go for Vanguard, but he go for Arx instead, but it's a 15 issue, so no matter what, it will be guarded. Now this is kind of a final turn for an opponent player, and he actually get the Valiente, and he got the extra counter boss to pop power, which will okay, this side, I don't think they, he actually got a lot of cards already, he, he have only 3 cards. Even though there's a lot of triggers gone, but uh, I guess he can only gamble right here. Unless uh, the final side got a crit, then that's going to be game over. But even if he guard, he can probably only guard for one pass. Oh, he's at a no gun, and here comes a crit. So. The fire player actually gets quite lucky every single grave return he can get a crit, so yeah, I think that's kind of help. Uh, yeah, do let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.